Hi everybody, this is Nikki and welcome to another episode of Design Like a Pro. Today we're going to talk about bleeds and how to set up your print projects to have a bleed so that everything is printed to the edge of your document. So let's get started. I have a postcard here that I've already designed. Today we're going to work in Photoshop and InDesign. InDesign is much better at handling print projects and I could have actually designed this postcard in InDesign. However, Photoshop has a lot better handling of graphics and effects. So a lot of times I'll create it in Photoshop and then bring it into InDesign to export it out to a PDF that's ready to print. So these programs work very nicely for the different situations that you may have. So we're going to start in Photoshop. I have my postcard already designed. So my final postcard size is going to be a 4 by 6 Alright, so now we need to add that bleed. A standard printing bleed is an eighth of an inch, which adds a quarter of an inch to your width and a quarter of an inch to your height. So you need to increase the size of your document to accommodate that bleed. And this is a standard bleed size for printers. I do suggest that you talk to your printer and ask them for their preference. Some like it like a little bit more space and if that's if that's the case then all you need to do is add their size to your document. Alright, so this is how I add a bleed in Photoshop. I go to image canvas size and I add that quarter of an inch to my height and that quarter of an inch to my width. So my final postcard size will be six and a quarter by four and a quarter in height. Hit OK and that is increased. Now I already made this to fit that size so if you see a white border or a black depending on what colors you have here you can increase your artwork to fill this space you want definitely want to make sure this fills all the way to the edge all right so now the next thing I do is I'm going to draw out some guides here just hit control R to bring your ruler up click and drag out to a quarter of an inch on all sides. Now, if the standard printing bleed is an eighth of an inch on all sides, why am I adding that extra bit? Well, I like to be a little bit safe when I'm working with print jobs. Uh, their trimmer is not exactly accurate all the time, so I like to have a little extra space to put my artwork so that it's in the safe zone. What do I mean by that? Well all of this area outside in this area of your guides has the potential to be trimmed away. So one thing I notice is that my logo is hanging out right in that trim away area. So that could possibly mean that only this is what you see and half of my logo is going to be in here and then this little bit is going to be out. Well, we don't want that. So the first thing now that I've done this is I need to move that logo down. And by adding that quarter of an inch guide around here to go by, this is giving me a little extra cushion. I always like things to be further in uh, design-wise than too close to the edge. And this is one tip for designing like a pro is keeping a lot of negative space around your elements definitely adds that professional look that we're aiming for. So this is going to give me that much extra space around here and protect my text item here. Okay, so now we're ready to save out. Once you have all of your items in the safe area, you're ready to go. I'm going to flatten this because I'm going to bring it into InDesign and I want to make sure everything is flat. And I'm going to save as a TIFF. Now one thing you want to do is make sure that you have a layered version of this postcard design safe as well. So I have that up here and it's also a layered TIFF. So I've already saved that to make sure that I can always go back to my original postcard design and edit anything I need to. But I'm also going to save a flattened version that that is what I'm going to bring into InDesign. And I save everything as a TIFF to ensure a lossless compression here. I want to get the best quality possible for my print project. 
All right, so now I'm ready to open up InDesign and I'm going to create a new document in InDesign. And I'm going to make sure this is six inches by four inches. And then down here, if this option isn't selected, if you don't see a bleed option down here, click over here for more options and you have your bleed. And I'm going to type in 0.125 inches. And make sure that this link is checked and all of that when I tab over to the next one, all of it is filled in now with that eighth of an inch bleed on all sides. Click OK and here is my document. Now when I first opened up InDesign it looked, it didn't have inches so I'm going to change this really quick just so you can see that our postcard is actually sized correctly in inches. See? So it's a six by four with that eighth of an inch bleed on all sides. All right, so now I'm ready to drag my artwork in to InDesign. And if everything is sized correctly, it's going to fit very nicely within these red lines. These are your bleed lines that you want to make sure your artwork fits inside. And it does perfectly. All right, now here's a cool little tip in InDesign that allows me to see what my final trim size is going to be. And this is why I like to use InDesign for finalizing my print projects. If you hit W on your keyboard, this is what your final trim size will be and this is what it looks like with the bleed. And this is what you're going to get back from the printer. Everything is safely in here and I have quite a bit of space between my logo and the edge and that looks a lot nicer and it makes sure that that's not going to get trimmed away. All right, so now we're ready to save this out as a PDF. So we go to File, Export, and we'll get a lot of PDF options here and pick a, a name for this. I've already created this, so I'm gonna overwrite it. All right, so here's some PDF options. I always like to work in press quality. If you're gonna be sending items to print, this works the best, and I always have this standard as PDF X 2001. Why 2001? This ensures compatibility with the majority of printers that you will be dealing with. If they have specifics for your PDF, ask them and then format accordingly. This is just a very basic standard that I'm applying here for you today that ensures the best compatibility if you don't know any specifics. So that needs to be changed. Everything else in here is okay. We're going to go to compression. I always make sure this is do not downsample to ensure the highest quality. If you're going to print this, there's no reason why you need to sacrifice your quality. Next, go to marks and bleeds. And I'm going to mark crop marks here so my printer can see where my trim area will be. And right here, you need to under bleed and slug, make sure you say use document bleed settings. When we opened and created a new document, we told it that it needed to have this eighth of an inch bleed on all sides, so you can go ahead and use those settings. In output, make sure that it says convert to destination and preserve numbers, and make sure this says document CMYK. And this is for the United States, so if you're in another country, make sure that you have the right setting here for your printers. And these three options we don't need to change. So now we're going to hit export and it's going to create that PDF for us. Okay, and now I'm going to open this up. Okay, and once it opens, I'm going to click here to actual size. So this is the actual size of my postcard. And now you see crop marks here. So when your printer prints this out, they have something to go by to trim it down to that final four by six. So that's a look at bleeds and how to format them using Photoshop and InDesign. And if you have ideas for future tutorials or just have something you're dying to know more about, you can send those to ideas at NikkiHeart.com. Thanks for tuning in and you have added another tip in your design toolkit and you're on your way to designing like a pro. Thank you.